My name is Sarah Gear, and I'm a program officer with the Rainwater Charitable Foundation based here in Fort Worth. So um, I help to manage our portfolio of education grants, and um, through our work, we're supporting schools and local organizations um, that focus on education and supports for, for children um, all the way from birth um, through to supporting um, development and, and programming for our teachers and our principals. Um, so we work uh, primarily through education to improve children's lives. We were first getting to know Coach Pat and um, Southside and the Unity program um, through our partner schools. So Coach Pat works in a lot of the same schools where our foundation is involved. Um, and we've known about um, his programming, um, his recreational programming for um, several years and have supported that in, uh, in a few ways. But a few years ago, um, Coach Pat approached us about the opportunity to really build out a program that focused on parents, the past program, and that was something that was really appealing to us. So we've been um, uh, kind of a key partner with the past program for the past couple years. Yeah. Well, we truly believe that um, outcomes for children um, are very dependent, of course, on the people who are most um, central and involved in their lives, their families, their parents. Um, and we want parents to be full partners in the work that we're doing to try to provide the best for Fort Worth kids. So um, through the PASS program, uh, we're providing resources and tools and really strengthening those relationships so that we're kind of all on the same page. Um, we all want to be um, kind of shooting for the same goals for students to um, be focused on academic outcomes and academic um, uh, learning uh, in a way that really advances them, but um, really supportive of everything that they need and, and to know how best to serve children, we really have to engage um, with, with parents and with those families. So that's what's really important to us and why PASS is just so critical because it's really trying to create that active seat at the table and relationship where parents are part of all those conversations and we're able to share resources and tools and knowledge so that um, you know kids just have stronger relationships all around. Uh, we're really uh, we're excited about it and uh, Coach Pat in particular I think um, you know really has just said we've, we've got parents come in and excited and, and at the table um, to cheer on their kids um, for what's going on for their sports, but we want to take that to the next level, and that's something that resonates with us. We just know that um, for our kids to reach their fullest potential, um, we need to be working together as a full team, and that very much includes um, working with parents side, by, uh, side, side to side with parents um, to make that happen. Well, it's a little different, I think, than, than maybe what you've heard from some of the other partners because, honestly, Coach Pat and, and my relationship as a funder with him is one of my success stories. So it's a little bit different, but um, I think it's been um, something where Coach Pat and I have both really grown professionally by working together because... Um, he hadn't worked with many foundations before we started working together, and I hadn't had the chance to work with as many um, nonprofits that um, were uh, kind of so grassroots and focused on this real direct um, programming at the level that he does. So we've learned a lot from each other, and that's been something that's really influenced how I approach my work, and I, I think it's something that um, he's shared with me that has meant a lot to him of thinking about how he presents what he's doing to the community to help folks understand um, the impact that it's having. So I think we have that success, but we definitely, through Coach Pat, understand um, that we are reaching um, more parents and different uh, parents and families than we would be able to through some of our other programming. And that's what the success is for us, is having um, more and different relationships um, that we can't go out and cultivate directly. We, we don't have um, that kind of street cred, to be you know quite honest. And, and so we want to lean into these partnerships um, where we can connect with families in new ways and different ways that really work for kids and support kids. I think what stands out to me most about Unity is how holistic the approach is, and I really applaud the organization for doing that. They could simply focus in and say, you know, sports matters, and it does, um, and, and, and that's where our expertise is, but they've said sports matters, and so does so many other things, and how can we connect all those things? How can we connect what's happening in school? How can we connect what's happening when kids go home at night and on the weekends and are having an environment um, you know, where other factors are coming into play? How can all of those things be connected in a way that 
all points towards supporting the best for the child and giving them the best opportunities, exposing them to new ideas and resources, and just where we're all pushing for the same type of success um, and, and supporting kids um, in this team approach. So that's what's different for me and, and uh, really, again, takes it to that next level. Something that Coach, Coach Pat and I have talked a little bit about, I think, is building from relationships with individual families or parents and really building a network and a community. Um, so, so kind of taking it to that level of this network of relationships. And I think that opens up an opportunity for us to, through unity, um, continue to work with our families and our students on issues that matter to them that are more systemic. Um, so when we think about inequities that we experience as communities in Fort Worth, um, when we think about um, challenges we have to accessing resources or um, to uh, you know communicating with, with um, folks who are decision makers or folks in power, I think there's a real opportunity for unity to create a strong network that can have a unified voice and, uh, and can really push forward where the parents and even the students themselves are all coming together and able to advocate um, and feel empowered um, to work on common goals, um, even beyond a goal that a family or an individual child uh, might have. So that's what I would see as even pushing you know, more and pushing beyond.